Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a wall section from Deathray Designs. This is some other modular terrain that they have. It's made from MDF, and this is a completed piece. What we're going to be working on is a brand new piece. We've already primed it with Krylon Enamel Primer, and we'll be first painting it with these three colors. We've got Vallejo Model Color Violet, Scale 75 Sunset Purple, and Citadel Emperor's Children Pink. The first few layers we're going to apply with an airbrush, starting off with our violet here. We're doing about half of the sides of the wall with violet. And we're going to cover the top as well. And then we're also going to hit the sides with a bit of sunset purple. So right here I'm switching out to Emperor's Children Pink, putting a little pink in there, spraying a little bit, oh, I got a little bit of water on that. Uh, I'm just going to have to be careful, I didn't notice it immediately, but we're going to hit the tops of the panels with a little bit of pink, I've dabbed off that water, and then next we're going to hit the top. We had a little bit of a tear there, but covering it up with this paint uh, mostly fixes the texture there. We're not looking for perfect, we're looking for quick. Next we're coming up with Misfits Green and we're going to actually hit the sides of the panels on the lower half and this is setting up an undercoat for some later brighter green so this is going to be a very dark green you can substitute as needed. So you notice here that I'm pointing out different areas. The top half is purple, the bottom half is a very dark green. But you'll also notice because of the way that we airbrush this, the bottom or the top half is actually split up into three sections where it's violet, then sunset purple, and then Emperor's Children Pink. So at this point, I'm gonna crack out some masking tape. We've got some 10 millimeter Tamiya masking tape and some just generic uh, masking tape from the hardware store. We're gonna start off with some Tamiya tape. This is specifically made for miniatures and scale models and uh, has a very nice tackiness to it that tends not to tear up paint. If you're concerned about paint being torn up, make sure that it's completely dried and cured before applying tape. And uh, you might also consider putting a varnish layer. I'm also cutting off little small pits of the tape to cover the ends where they're a bit rounded. And then uh, we're gonna apply a little bit of masking tape along the sides to cover those edges. And we're pressing down along the Tamiya tape. Next, I'm getting out the colors for my hazard stripes. We're going to be using Mahogany, Averlin Sunset, Flash Gets Yellow, and Ivory. We're starting off with the yellow part of the hazard stripe first because we will inversely apply the black stripes later. It's a little bit easier to apply black over yellow and we're only using one shade of color for the black, but we're using multiple shades of color for the yellow. So I'm applying thin layers of Averlin Sunset. I want a nice solid color. It's actually nice going over the pink and the purple before. That's a good setup tone for yellows. And now we're switching off to our next color. This is going to be Flash Gets Yellow. We'll bring up the middle area a little bit in value, and you can see that bright yellow being applied there. We don't need much. And then following that, we're actually going to hit the edges, the outer edges, with a little bit of mahogany to make them a little bit browner. You can use uh, this kind of reddish, orangish brown to do this to any number of uh, hazard stripes for a little bit of highlighting, a little bit of modulation and tone. The last step that we'll add is a little bit of ivory in the middle to give it a little bit of a light. Our final step with the hazard stripes is applying the black inverse striping. And for this, we're going to be using a reusable stencil. This is, per, this is from Deathray Designs, the same manufacturers as the terrain piece. And this is a reusable stencil. You can see that I've already used it for a number of projects, and we're reusing it here. I'm kind of positioning it correctly, trying to get the alignment correct. Um, don't be afraid to double check your work here. It's very important. We're loading up some Army Painter matte black. 
and we're gonna we're gonna slowly build up those black stripes there. We want to be careful of water there. Dab that off. Now you might notice we're missing a little bit, but we'll get back to that. Now here comes the big reveal. Mm. We'll slowly pull off the stencil, and then we'll slowly pull off the masking tape. So you can see we've got a little unevenness right here. We're going to go in and touch that up by hand with a little bit of the same matte black paint. And we're just applying this with a brush, doing a quick straight line, relying on the edges of the laser cutting and the steadiness of my hand. So I'm taking long, slow breaths and deliberate strokes. done. We get out Emperor's Children Pink and Bright Yellow Green. Starting off with Emperor's Children Pink, we've put some out on our palette and we're going to do a quick edge highlighting. Um, this is sped up a little bit so it might look a little cleaner than what it appears up close, but I'm doing a very rough edge highlighting with a large brush. You can see I'm just kind of picking out some details. These are the same details I pick, on, pick out on each of the identical pieces here for this terrain. And this is only taking me a little bit of time. I'm trying to uh, trying to just rough these in. So at this point, I'm getting out the bright yellow green, and we're doing the same thing but on the bottom half. So the Misfits green layering that we added before acts as an undercoat for the bright yellow green and really helps that come through. We're doing the same kind of edge highlighting that we did on the top along the bottom. This isn't very realistic, as the lighting should probably be hitting the bottoms of things, but it's more visible to players this way. see the original piece we've got one last step we've got to add that speckling getting out a piece of plastic some of our bright yellow green we'll add that directly on top here add a little bit of water mix it up a bit and then get out a toothbrush and a paper clip you can use any straight piece of anything instead of a paper clip but I've got a lot of pieces of paper clip around so after mixing that up and loading it onto my toothbrush I'm stippling it on with the toothbrush along the bottom and then speckling it with the toothbrush and the paper clip. Here, let's slow that down. You can see that I load up the brush with a little bit of paint and then I run the paper clip over it and I get a nice fine speckling. So a little bit of variation in the size of speckles there helps. So there you have it. I've got a ton of these to do, but it only took a little while to do one. It's much faster as a batch. And uh, until next time, make sure you hit subscribe, follow me, check me out on Twitch, and I'll have another one for you next time. Have a great week.